Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a how-to DIY on a Paw Patrol cake. This is the cake that I made for my son's fourth birthday. So if you'd like to see how it all turned out, please stick around. This little device here comes really in handy. I bought it at Dollar General. I think it was about $2 or so. It is a little plastic container, as you can see, where you fill it with the different frosting. It actually came with about, I want to say, 8 to 10 different style uh, piping tips. So that works really well also. And then you can see that you just twist the top on. And kind of like a, a huge syringe, you um, press down on the stopper part at the top. And then the frosting is forced through whichever shaped piping tip you place on the end again I really like it it works really well the only downside if I had to choose which you will see is the size of it the amount of times I had to refill it and then of course I had to clean it in between because I'm using multiple colored frostings but overall it's definitely a great product for your DIY cake decorating needs whether it's a large cake like this or cupcakes
as you can see here, I am layering the different color frostings at the bottom. I just started off with some white frosting and added some regular food coloring. Although I did notice that the food coloring, um, it kind of thinned out the frosting a bit. I know they have specific food colorings for frosting. They're supposed to be more like a gel as to not make that happen, but I just used whatever I had on hand and it still ended up working out fine. I just put the cake into the refrigerator to dry, or excuse me, to um, stiffen up in between the layers of frosting that I was putting on. So as you can see here, I'm just finishing that up. I'm all using the same piping tip, but I'm turning it to different angles um, in order to give the layered look of the frosting and to just make sure that all of the cake underneath is covered. This is also a condensed tutorial of this cake process. If you would like to see a more in-depth step-by-step, including the baking of the giant cupcake, I will insert here for you the aisle pop out at the top and you can check out my previous video where I made a Minnie Mouse giant cupcake for my daughter's birthday. And like I said on that one, it's more step-by-step, -step, whereas this video, I wanted to focus on the decorating. You can also see now that I've moved on to the top portion of the cake. I did change the piping tip. I believe this one is the star. And I just wanted to use that on top just to give a little droplet effect. Again, on the previous cake I did, I did more of a swirl. So I wanted this one to look a little bit different. So while the other bottom part is in the refrigerator, again, to firm up, I'm finishing this top portion here. And then I'm going to go on and stack it all together.
So now that I have everything covered in frosting, I am looking for what I feel like is the neatest part because I'm going to make that be the front display portion of the cake. And then I'm going to add a layer of frosting on top of this to hold the top portion in place. Now, if you'll notice the bottom section here, I iced while it was upside down. So I did flip it over onto the silver display platter here. And that's how you see it now. I just felt like that was an easier way for me to ice the bottom portion. These here are the Paw Patrol figurines that I also picked up from Dollar General. They were a dollar a piece. I'm going to use them as decorations on the cake. And I like this as like a little decorating hack because you don't have to go through all the trouble of trying to mold and make all the little figures out of fondant or rice cakes, which is a possibility, but it's just a lot more work, a lot more products that you need. And... It can be trial and error. So with this, it's the figures. They're recognizable. I like the smallness of them because they're perfect size to put on the cake. And I just think it came out really cute. After I completed the stacking of the cake and placing the figures where I wanted them, I did notice that there was a gap between the two layers where there was not any frosting. So you can see here that I'm adding more green frosting and I'm just going to go around and fill in those spots so that there is no space. And it's just all one seamless look.
see everyone i am all finished this is the final look of the cake i think it turned out really nicely and most importantly my son loved it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video this is connor please subscribe and watch my videos <laughs>